Welcome to Powered by Ancestry. I'm your host and guide, Kwesi Kunadu. In this episode, I want to return to a phrase that I've used at least in a few episodes thus far. And that phrase is, they know the roads because they built it. And by they, I'm referring to our ancestors. But be mindful that I'm referring to those ancestors that are able and equipped to help us navigate our human experience. If you want more about the categories of ancestry, kindly check out a few episodes that I've talked about that. You see, we have path or roads, as I call them. And these path or roads have been paved or laid out long before we were conceived. I'll give an example to myself. You see, I was born on a Sunday, a particular Sunday, called Munukwisi on the Akan calendar. I know that in my family history, there was another male that was born on a Sunday that left this earth as a infant. And so, in some ways, my sense is that that was me before me. In other words, I was born before I was born. How do I know that? I'm certain it was. You see, that male child, as far as my family has told me the story, was also born on a Sunday. Around the same time I was born, meaning I was born in the evening, the early evening. And so that male child that was born, was born in what they call this, this envelope of a film or slime around the baby's eyes and, and body. Now, for my people in Jamaica and elsewhere, that means that child is born to see things, not better or worse than any ordinary human being, but differently. And that seeing is sort of a spiritual sight where they can see and hear the forces that exist around us that are immaterial, that are not tangible, but that are real and that can be known. And so when he left as an infant, it wasn't his time. It wasn't my time. And so when I was born on a Sunday like he, and I came into this world, I too had a film around my eyes, right? Which meant that I was born to see things and hear things that in the mundane, in the ordinary way of our human existence is often not appreciated or not really thought about or contemplated. This is an example of the road being there, meaning my road was already paved long before I was conceived or born, whether in the first or second trial run. Now, in the second trial run through which I'm having this human experience, I would needed to be born because I had a particular purpose at that time within my family. You see, I was born in the mid 70s and that was a crucial time. There was much more happening in the world. I was born during the black power period. I was born during the period of independence of African nations and during the independence of Caribbean nations. I was born on the island of Jamaica doing certain upheavals in the land or in the island. I was born into a family that were Maroons, right? People of African ancestry who had found refuge and liberated space within the mountains and hills and ravines of the island's uh, most inaccessible places. And being born into this lineage, being born into this landscape, being born into this time was appropriate for me then, not earlier. And because my road was already paved for me, I was born with certain spiritual forces as well. One of the spiritual forces that I have is Shango, which many of you know from the Yoruba peoples of what is now Nigeria, as an Orisha or a spiritual force among those peoples. And I was born with those people in me because they had already laid a path for me to be taken. I was told later on that this spiritual force or Orisha called Shango was there with me when I was born. And that's what I mean by the road was already paved for me. The road was already laid out for me, right? By my ancestral spiritual forces that are there to guide me and usher me along that path and road. And also by the spiritual forces like Shango and other spiritual forces that I have that had laid out this particular path and that had paved this road for me to follow. And I also know that road was already paved because I had a sense about that conversation with my creative force doing gestation. And you might wonder, well, how do I remember that? Well, you see, my people, the Akan people particularly, and also my ancestors from Benin, they have certain rituals that they put in place from a long time ago for us to remember our mission and purpose, to remember that conversation in summary form with our creative force. 
And that ritual is for the Akan people or the Akan side of my people is mandated every 42 days. So every 42 days, I do a ritual bath with certain medicinal plants, water, and other ingredients. And I also have an ancestral meal, particularly with eggs. This is an ancestral meal that is built or put in place to allow us to remember pieces and parts of that conversation we have with our creative force. And so every 42 days on Monokwesi, that is a fresh or new Sunday, I go under this bath. And in that bath, I am meditating on those destinies, those commanded and personal destinies that I authored or co-authored with my creative force so that I can live it out. And each time I do this, periodically and regularly, the more pieces fall in place. And those pieces for you will appear in your dreams, will appear while taking the bath. And in another episode, I'll share with you some rituals that you can do to have this ancestral connection with your ancestral forces, with those spiritual forces that also ride along with your ancestry, and to help you through living the purposeful life. And so for me, I do this every 42 days, among other rituals, of course, to ensure that I remember the path I should be on. And also, it provides a magnetic force to bring to me my ancestral and, and spiritual forces to guide me along that path. And so when I say they built the road and therefore they know the road and what's ahead, oftentimes my ancestral forces will come to me, particularly my grandfather, and will say to me, look, your people, meaning the other ancestral cadre, they said, this will happen to you if you do this. And what they're doing is that they can't make a human choice for me because they're not having the human experience I am. But what they can do and will do because of the connection that I have with them, both on the ancestral side and on the spiritual force side, that combined, they will say that we are simply laying out what is to come. You have to choose which path you want to take. Do you want to take the one that is lined with your destinies? Or do you want to make another choice that will lead to that outcome? And that is the power of ancestry. That is what we mean by powered by ancestry. Because in doing so, they lay out the consequences of our choices. And guess what? We're always involved in human action. We can't be inactive. So in other words, if I choose to stand up from where I'm sitting, that is an act or an action. If I choose to sit where I am, that is an act or action. In other words, there's action in action and there's action in inaction. Which is to say that whatever choices we make, once given that intel, given that information about what lays ahead on the path in front of us, what lays ahead in the road, it means we're always confronted with making a choice. And all choices have consequences. So whether we choose to align ourselves with our destinies and the path and the road in front of us, or we don't, they're going to have consequences for us either way. There is no non-consequential action, and there's action in action, and there's action in, in action. Knowing that these ancestral forces have our backs but also have our fronts, they have our fronts in a way that is unique in that they know the road because they built it. Remember, these are the people that came long before we even was an idea, long before we were close to inception and conception. In their world, age doesn't matter. Time doesn't matter. What matters is they have a role for us. And because we can never be older than our parents, we can never be older than our ancestors, those that came long before us, they know the road because they built it. And because they built it, we should listen and be humble, and in some cases be obedient. Yes, we should ask questions. Why that? Why this? But along the way, know that they know the road, which means that we should have a lot of confidence in that road, in that path. But in order to have that foresight, we have to have a connection with those ancestral and spiritual forces. And the way they have those connections is to be engaged with them through the rituals that you may do, and for which I will teach you some that you can do if you're not sure about what to do. I have been your host and guide, Kwesi Kunadu, for this episode of Powered by Ancestry. Kindly put your comments or ideas for other episodes in the comment section. If you have questions, 
pose them there as well. Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you for another episode of Power by Ancestry. Stay well.